Hey guys, Sean here. So, today we are going to learn how to Healy coil. I don't know if you can see that, a stripped out bolt. So, what we have here is the proper tap. But what I don't have is the proper drill bit because this is an M12 by 1.75. And in the continental United States, metric drill bits do not exist. So, I've got something better. actually measure not the outer depth we want to measure the actual valley and I know for a fact that this one calls for 12.4 millimeters it would help if I turn this on So we can see the outer diameter is 14.45. Now what we need. So what we need is something close to 12.4 millimeters, which is what it's called, 11.4, okay. And I think that'll be too much. This is 3164s. Let's see what we get there. 12.31. 3229. Alright. That should be close enough to this to work. So let's see if it does. trick is if you put a little grease on the end of your drill bit you can actually capture most of the chips and this pump housing actually has a drain on the bottom so we'll be able to flush it either way also we're drilling aluminum which is comparatively very soft and this pump assembly does not have bearings well not journal bearings made of lead everything is uh, roller bearings be using the tap handle but because the only one in the shop right now is cheap as shit I don't quite trust them I feel like my hands might be steadier yeah we're gonna see if I can Healy coil this thing if not we're out 50 bucks for a piston but yeah, it's, it's worth a shot the tap yeah. handles broken can't go too deep in there Mm. It won't let you go. It does bottom out. So we will see. I'd love to 
use an actual tap handle on this. There's one in there, but it's broken. Really? Yeah, uh, someone, like, someone yeah. broke it and put it back. There we go. Starting to cut now. Yellow. Yellow. So it's important to be cognizant of the resistance you get back. Because if you bottom this thing out and snap the tab off, you're going to have a horrible day. So generally with tapping, you want to go forward a little bit and then come back. And then forward a little bit and come back. Like two steps forward, one step back. And what you're doing by coming backwards is actually pulling, giving an opportunity for these guys, these chips, to leave. And if you don't, it can jam the tap up where they can collect at the bottom and basically snap your tap off in there and then you're up Shit's Creek. So, this is not very scientific, but... And there we are. So now we've got let's see that, nice, decent threads, and we know that this insert will go down in there just like that. But there's a special tool to install it, and there are some caveats to Healy coiling. First of all, you must use this on the Healy coil outside so that it doesn't back out every time you take the bolt out. Sorry about that guys. So what we want to do here is set the depth on the uh, tool just so that we can actually put some pressure on it. Hopefully, go in the hole. Come on. There we go. see well, hopefully you can see right next to the light it has mostly bottomed out dude that is annoying as shit final result I like the paste Loctite because it doesn't go everywhere Blue on your bolt, red on your insert. So, in theory, the insert doesn't come out when you remove this again. That's the idea. In practice, sometimes you'll end up putting a new insert in. It, it happens. So, let's bring our piston down. So we can actually place that. actually easier with these diaphragm pumps to bring it up to meet it and even allow it to spin and then torque it because the head will actually the cylinder head will actually hold it down so at this point we're just checking to make sure that the bottom of the Healy coil isn't interfering with the crankshaft in any way because it's bored completely through and just you know 
listening for horrible noises or anything like that, which none seem to be present. So now at this point, we just torque this nut, put the head back on, and put this back into service. Thanks for watching.